this is for you. Ah, uh, this goes out to one of the best property managers. Ain't no one else out there that can hang with you. You got these apartments on lock. Your hustle don't quit and your game don't stop. I know you're sick of me not paying the rent. Got my check next thing you know my money spent. But uh, I know I got a record and I'll have your money on the 27th. Hello everyone. Today we want to talk about business credit denials. Business credit denials and what you can do about it when or if you get denied. Are you ready? Let's go. The first thing we want to focus on, right, whenever we are problem solving, is to determine where the problem lies. These four elements that we're going to be going over is going to help you determine where the problem lies, okay? The first element we want to talk about is going to be net profits. Now, the quickest way to cash flow, right, this is in your personal or your business profile, is to ensure that you're taking away the excess, taking away the unessential. That way you can have more cash flow, more net profits for your business, and you can increase your chances of getting approved for massive credit lines and loans, all right? The second thing we want to focus on is our business resources and obligations. So what's another way of saying the same thing? In other words, business assets and liabilities, right? Assets are resources and liabilities are obligations. So we want to make sure that if our balance sheet kind of says that we're going over or that we're over leveraged, we want to make those necessary adjustments so that our balance sheet is balanced <laughs> and we have those assets and those liabilities that are going to be something that the lender says, yes, we can work for that. Okay, we'll give you the money because you're not over leveraged and your balance sheet looks good. All right. The third thing we want to focus on is history of payment and our reputation, right? A payment history and business credit profile. We want to make sure, of course, that we are paying our debts never on time, but always early. And we want to make sure that if we look into our business credit reports and we see that there's something not accurate on, we want to make sure that we make that correction, okay? So that the business credit report can reflect honestly what we've been doing as a business, all right? The fourth thing that we want to focus on is trade line reporting, all right? So what's another word for that? Payment experiences. Folks, depending on the business credit bureau, these only get reported, the trade line reporting, only gets reported for two to three years, all right? So we wanna make sure that what we see again on our business credit reports is something that is accurate, something that is consistent what, with what we've really done as a business, okay? So there are the four elements that we need to focus on if we want to make sure that we keep those credit application denials down, those massive lines, and those loans and business credit up. Okay, we want to focus on the net profits, business resources and obligations, history of payment and reputation, and trade line reporting. All right, if you have any questions, don't hesitate. Hit me up. All right, hit me up. Like, right, subscribe, and let me know what you want to hear. God bless you, and you have a great night.